All right, we have this 60 foot long rail car here. And uh, first thing I'm gonna do, you already cut it, Dan? That was cut. All right. I'm gonna cut the other one. I'm gonna go up underneath here. Go up. I'm just waiting to go underneath. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so. All we're gonna do is cut that bracket right there, that rod, that rod this rod here is attached to the to the car body. The other one there is attached to the trucks. So we just gotta disconnect that rod there. Gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right, here we are on the other side. You see we're heating up that rod again. Is there any tension on that last time? Did it pop at all, Dan? Yeah, it popped. When I relieved it, it's free. The, when I released the brake, it popped. When I cut the other one, it was free. That's all there is to it. That's the only thing that's holding this rail car down. That's the only thing holding this car down. All these other rods. Um, like a... Uh, all this stuff here, we don't need to remove any of that stuff. That stuff can stay with the rail car for now. Um, and we'll take all this other stuff off later. That's a uh, 30,000 pound capacity forklift. This car weighs about, the entire car weighs about 65,000 pounds. All right. All right, we have um, the wheel sets brought loose. This, these were just used for uh, a temporary safety, just in case a rail car fell on us while we were building this, um, all this dunnage over here, all this cribbing. That's uh, that piece right there is called, called a center plate. It fits inside that bowl right there, right there. That's the rod there that was cut. That's the only thing holding that car to the truck sets.